hi, uh, the, my name is Brian. It's been a while since I've uh, shot any videos. So today we're going to review a DeWalt 20 volt uh, max lithium ion DCG412B. And the B means it's a bare tool, so it does not include a battery or a charger. So there is a manual in the box, the actual tool, which is an angle grinder, a wrench, handle and a quarter inch thick five inch grinding wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. And there is, let's see if there's a stop. Yes, there's actually a very nice stop here that will prevent the crank from turning while you secure your uh, tool bit. So we'll get that in here and we'll just give it a good turn to make sure it's nice and secure. Okay. And then I'm going to put, go ahead and put the tool on or the handle on this side of the tool. And uh, let me go grab the battery. So I've got a battery. This tool is ideal for uh, short grinding jobs. That's actually what I purchased it from or for. Um, a lot of you have seen some of my welding videos. Um, I'm standing inside of a house that I'm remodeling. And so I've gone ahead and put a battery in here. I have plenty of these batteries actually in about six of them. And um, I bought this because I have some short projects coming up that really would benefit from having a grinder. So. There is a uh, safety here. Yeah. It spins up the way I would expect it to, and it is rated for 7,000 RPMs a minute. Um, that's a little bit slower than a low-end uh, plug-in grinder. And uh, for those of you that watch some of my other videos, you can see that I have an uh, aquarium sitting next to me. It's eventually going to go in this spot, but that's probably not why you're watching this video. So let me reposition the camera and then we'll actually uh, grind off a couple of bolts that are in the concrete floor behind me. All right, so I have the grinder and this is the bolt that I'm gonna remove. And then I also have a full face mask and respirator to keep me from breathing dust and to um, you know, keep stuff from flying into my eyes. And I also have a pair of earmuffs that'll help protect my ears from some of the sound.
Okay, so we managed to uh, completely burn through a battery, but this is probably a 5 8 inch bolt, so this is a big bolt. Uh, make that two batteries. This one's down to one bar, and I don't generally like to run them below that. It did grind it off flush. So, you know, this would probably not be my go-to grinder if I needed one to earn a living and I did this all day long. But for my use where, you know, yeah, it took probably five to seven minutes to grind through that bolt, but this would typically be the only thing I would grind for a month unless I was on a welding project. And I have plenty of the batteries. So for me, not having a cord is worth the trade-off of having a little bit less power, but having a lot of flexibility. So, um, you know, I still would recommend it, but this is certainly not the most powerful grinder, and if I had a really tough grinding job, I still would drag out an extension cord. Um, you know, I'll definitely be keeping it, and uh, I'll be using it on projects where I just need, you know, to grind one or two things, or have a little bit of light grind grinding to do. Thanks for watching my video, I hope it's been helpful for you.